Hey there, you beautiful noodles. My name is Kalia if you're new. And if you are new, on Wednesdays, I do Wildcard Wednesday videos. Walk into the room and I feel the stairs. You're wondering if the talent claimed is really here. For today's Wildcard Wednesday video, I hopped on over to IG and I asked you all to ask me any questions that you had about business. This video is going to be me trying my best to answer those questions. And if I do not have the answers, I will point you in the direction to find those answers. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first question I got was, why go into business? I went into business because I've always had this urge to want to do something that I created myself from scratch from the beginning and got to see it all the way through. So that's one of the main reasons why I went into business. And also I would love to have passive income. I know that a lot of people, you know, wanna have that secondary or a third stream of income so that they don't have to necessarily be dependent on one thing. So just in case something happens and it falls through, you're not going to be left out on your own. But um, if you're asking yourself why go into business, then uh, you have to truly ask yourself, is this something that you want to do because you have a, I know it sounds super, super cliche, but passion for business and passion for what it is that you want this business to be? Or are you just trying to not work for anybody else and you want to work for yourself? Because there are a lot of things that you deal with when you go into business for yourself that you wouldn't have to deal with if you were working a nine to five. You have to remember there are a lot of risks. Um, you lose money, you gain money, and there may be times where you don't make a profit and you're a little in the red more than you are making money. So you just got to ask yourself, are you willing to take the risk. And the next question is, how did you decide on products? The products that I chose for my businesses are things that I enjoy and things that I feel are welcome in the market. Like I like it, I enjoy a bunch of things, but I don't sell everything that I enjoy. So for instance, I just started This Brand Never Stops and the ultimate goal for This Brand Never Stops, I'll give you a little sneak peek is this will be stationary paper products, office supplies, like those types of things. Now the things that I'm doing currently are stickers. I'm starting with stickers and you know, ultimately I want these stickers to move into letterhead, notebooks, planners, all this stuff. And I started with the stickers because one, it's the lowest overhead cost. I can do it here in my little space that you see right here, can cut those stickers myself, add the little slits in there myself, and I can make the packaging and all that myself. Now going forward, forward I want people to have that brand recognition with the stickers and they're like oh that's the company that has the stickers I love those stickers I will probably like any other product that they have so said all that to say I decided on my products based on things that I like and enjoy and that have an open market and also things that I can do and have a low overhead cost and as I go forward in the business, I have to, you know, make sure that that overhead cost stays the same. And if it does go up, you know, prices have to change. And if I want to introduce new products, you got to do the product testing, all that stuff. So if you're trying to figure out if you want to go into business, what types of products to sell, I would definitely say test out the market. You should look around and see who's selling what you want to sell, who's making what you want to make, so on and so forth, and see where you fit in in that area. You could be doing something totally and completely different, which is always a good thing, because being different in a market that already exists is the best way to like poke your head out and also branding, but we'll get into that. So the next question is, how do I get money to start my business? Now, there are plenty of different ways to get money to start your business. For me, what I did is I took the money that I was making at my primary nine to five and I slowly but surely bought, you know, supplies that I needed. It took time, like it really took time for me to build up inventory, uh, build up like product recognition and all that fun stuff. But I also got help from family. And when I say help from family, I don't mean like uh, my family would give me a $2,000 loan. Like my family would give me $50, $100. And this really, you know, they said that they believed in what the businesses are that I was starting and they wanted to help. And those types of grants, I guess I would call them, are honestly the best for me because my credit is not the best. So the next question which asks about small business loans and grants, um, I did not qualify for loans because my credit was not the best, but we're working on that. We're getting her better. Next year is a new year. It's lit. Um, but grants, 
if you are looking for grants i will link down in the description below um i recently have reached out to iFund women so if you are a woman <laughs> they have a website that is specifically built on grants and loans and just like investing investment funds and it's all on that website iFund women they have just a database of different places that you can go and apply to i myself applied for their rolling grant so what happens is whenever they have someone that's looking to fund a certain type of business they go through their rolling applications and it'll show you know different types of business and then if you're selected they'll reach out to you ask for more information so on and so forth so I really think that that's a great place to look if you are a woman if you're not a woman or you do not identify as a woman there are other resources as well you can reach out to your bank a lot of uh, credit unions is what I personally prefer have small business loans that work very well they have low interest rates all that stuff there are larger banks that have small business loans as well that you can go to um, I do not know the specifics of all of those applications but I can link a resource down below that will let you know you know anything you may want to know about getting a small business loan next question is legal stuff what papers do you need to make sure that you have or do and where do you find them so this all depends on the state that you're in as well as the city there are some cities that have specific things that you have to follow as well so the first place you want to check is your state's government website they all have a small business section where they tell you you know what paperwork that you need to file here in new york there's a lot of different paperwork that you have to file and it also depends on what type of business you want to do so you can do llc and s corp you're like a larger business you know all, all of these different types of names for businesses it all depends on the type of business you want to start so before I filed legal paperwork, I worked specifically as a sole proprietorship. So whenever I filed paperwork or did anything for my business, it was under my own social security number and it was all linked directly back to me. Now that's not the best when it comes to taxes and all that fun stuff, just because if something happens in my business, you know, say someone gets hurt or something just goes wrong and somebody, you know, God forbid decided to sue, any of my assets that I personally own could be up for grabs if that does happen. So the next step is an LLC or an S Corp. Now this really does depend on what type of business you want to be. A lot of folks step out and get an LLC because it's the easiest one to apply for. It doesn't have as much I don't want to say like legal mumbo jumbo because you need to understand some of that when you're starting your business but it doesn't have as much thing like as much it just doesn't have as much and s corp is just a different way of filing on your taxes uh if you want to get more in depth with these two different types of businesses i will link them down below you could become a corporation which is like a conglomerate there's a lot of stuff that you could become but if you're just starting out I personally recommend sole proprietorship, LLC, or an S Corp. These are just the easiest ones to get into once you're starting out. The next question is what challenges do you have to overcome daily? So for me, the main thing that I have to overcome when it comes to business is just deciding what I'm going to work on that day. I know it sounds super mundane or like the easiest thing to figure out, but because you are running every aspect of this business, you have to figure out what you're focusing on that day. So either you're focusing on, you know, social media and promotions or you're so you're focusing on product creation or I'm focusing on websites or I'm focusing on like legal stuff or I'm focusing on finances it really depends on what that day requires so if I've got a lot of orders one day then I have to focus on orders because you got to ship the orders out but if it's a slower day then I can focus on website updates and social media planning and all that stuff so really my daily things that I have to overcome are just what am I going to do today <laughs> so the next question that I got was do you ever feel scared or discouraged and push through all the time every day okay doing this business stuff um there are slow days there are fast days there are days where nothing happens at all and it feels like people don't actually care about your products or they're not actually looking to you to get something to buy or stuff goes wrong you get orders messed up people aren't you know happy with what you made or what you sold them or what you shipped or shipping times take too long all this other stuff it happens every day like i promise you i've probably had about three times today itself where i was like you know what i could just not I could just not do anything, but I don't do that. Like I don't not do anything <laughs> because 
I started this business and this business is like my little baby and I don't want to just throw my baby away because that's kind of not nice. So I push through because I want to see it go to whatever the end is going to be. Like I don't want the businesses to inherently end, but whatever I'm working towards, I want that to happen. So that's why I don't stop. But most, if not all the times I want to stop. The next question is, how do you stay engaged with your customers when you're not feeling motivated? Honestly, you just gotta smile, like grin and bear it. You gotta go through it. Like you're gonna have days when you're not motivated, like I just said before, but I have to remember that these customers or these followers or whoever I'm talking to, like some people are potential customers and some people are customers that you wanna continue to keep. So you want your business to keep going. So you're gonna have to grin and bear it through your unmotivation and just, engage with them but also if you're having a day where everything that comes out of your mouth is wrong maybe you know wait for tomorrow but if you have urgent questions you know people are asking where's my order is it gonna ship did you even make it you have to answer those questions. You have to be upfront with your customers because you also want to build a rapport with these customers. You wanna make sure that they know even if something is going wrong, you're going to tell them. And those are the types of customers that will continue to stay because they have that positive rapport with you and they have you know, a respect for you as well because you've been upfront. You can't expect things to continuously go bad in your business and then you don't tell anybody and then you're like, why isn't anybody shopping with me? Because you didn't say anything. So you, you have to talk to them even when things are going bad, but make sure that you keep that headspace slightly clear. And you know, don't 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 go uh cussing out your customers or potential customers because that's that that's that's the worst way. That's the worst way to do it. So don't do that. And the last question that I have is recommendations that I have for someone that's looking to start their own business. Honestly, decide if business is something that you truly want to go into. If this is something that you're willing to lose money over and possibly lose free time. No, you're going to lose free time. I don't know why I said possibly lose free time over and you, like, you're going to have to carve out time for this. You're going to have to carve out money for this. Like it takes work. You have to be the type of person that realizes that this isn't all going to come to you all at once unless you go viral and that just means that you need to do a lot of work previously because if you go viral and all of these people are on your website you know websites crashing they're trying to order all your stuff you don't want that to happen so if you want to start a business and you somehow want to go viral make sure that you plan to go viral so when you do go viral you don't have to do all of this back work because you weren't prepared really starting a business means you want to be prepared for anything so if you're not a go with the flow type person you're not a well this bad thing happened so I'm just gonna figure out another thing type person business is more than likely not for you it is okay to work a nine to five it is okay to work for somebody else like everyone doesn't have to start a business because if everybody started a business no one would be working for anybody and we would all just be selling stuff to each other which we're doing anyway but somewhere in there it doesn't make sense somewhere in there it doesn't work so just do you really want to start a business <laughs> that's really the recommendation ask yourself if you truly want to start a business and if any of these questions that i answered for you make sense and you still want to do it then yeah you should probably do it start that business y'all and that wraps up this week's Wildcard Wednesday video. I hope those questions and the answers that I gave were helpful to you. And if there were any answers in my questions where you're like, wait a minute, I don't really think that's right. Be sure to tell me down in the comments below because I appreciate constructive criticism and I know that I don't know everything, so it's fine. Um, if you want to check out all of the businesses that I have started or things that I'm currently doing, I've linked all of my links down in the description below. I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.